Oh, hey, it's Wendy, a.k.a. the Thrifty Sewist, here to show you how much money I spent last week. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Truly appreciate you. Truly appreciate you if you have watched my videos before. Hi. Um, but I like to um, keep track of my spending, and I always film a video weekly about what I spent the prior week. So that's what this video is all about. I also have a couple other things to update you on, so let's just get right into it. This was a spendier week, spoiler alert. So let's just get going. Sunday, I had a no spend, and in a prior video, I said that I was going to start keeping track of my starting weight for the week. So Sunday morning, I was 171.2. I need to get down into the 160s. I really want to. It's so hard. Um, I have been maintaining at like from like 170 to 173 for a lot longer than I thought. I went back and looked at the app that I use. It's called Happy Scale and it just has boom, 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 boom. Like all the entries of the weight. As I said in a prior video, I weigh myself every single day, but I have been maintaining between 170 and 173 since like the end of September, early October. So it's time to lose some more weight, bitches. Okay. <laughs> So, um, that was my weight at the start of the week. It was a no spend day on Sunday. Yay. Monday. Let's see. I did some shipping for $7.47. I went to Hobby Lobby and spent $32.90. Um, at this point, I don't even remember what I bought. Today is Monday, January 30th. So this was already a week ago and I can't remember what I did 10 minutes ago. So yeah. I got Chick-fil-A for us for dinner for $19.17. I went to CVS and spent $8.65. This was more than likely a pack of wipes or something because I usually get my diapers and wipes at CVS. Um, and then I got McDonald's for the kids. Big surprise there. Not uh, for $6.44. My kids eat literally nothing. Like nothing. Um, they'll eat chicken nuggets crackers chips like just junk so yeah I don't know it's a struggle um okay Tuesday the 24th was a big spend day so uh oh what's this Amazon $14.80 um however one of these things was for a new savings challenge that I am creating that I just finished today I finished the designing I have to you know print it out and actually create the item but spoiler alert it is with dice so I just recently released my crazy cards game um well it's very similar this one you play with playing cards but the new one is with dice and you will get dice with it so that's that so Part of that was a business purchase, but then the other part was this beautiful deck of cards, which I thought were way overpriced for cards. They were, I think, like around $7, which, okay, it's 7 bucks, whatever, but I thought that was a lot for playing cards. But anyway, I just wanted it like a really pretty deck of cards. I don't know. It's probably dumb, dumb waste of money, but I did it anyway. Um, and yeah, they're just... I need to take those out. They're just unique. I've never seen cards like this before. You all know I'm obsessed with like the rainbow colors. They're plasticky and good, you know, good quality. So it is what it is. So I bought these. I do have them linked down below now in my description in case anyone else is interested in getting these. But yeah, they're just really pretty and I'm excited to start playing my savings challenges with some good looking cards. So that was that. Um, I broke my no spend for that. And then I PayPal'd my husband $150. Our gas bill was $365 effing dollars. Yes, it was insane. We weren't expecting that. And I don't pay the gas bill, he does. But I, you know, gave him $150 towards it because that's just like bananas. So. And then I did our taxes on TurboTax, and it was $82.68. Now, I wanted to do a free version, but 
Then there was like a pop-up and to be clear, I know absolutely nothing about taxes. So the easier that I can get it to be for myself, the better. So I always do a free version every year. Um, I used to go through Credit Karma, but I guess now this year they switched over to like TurboTax. So um, I use TurboTax. So I was going, 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 filled in my information. And then, like I said, I wanted to do a free version, but then I got a pop-up that said, um, you can't, you won't be able to get like some type of credit if you do the free version. I think it was something to do with the daycare expenses as, or something like that. I don't even know, but I was like, well, that is BS. So it's like, it was like 30 some dollars. I don't know. So I'm like, all right, I'll pay the 35 or whatever it is. Then, um, towards the end, I got another pop-up when I was ready, getting ready to submit, you can't submit the state taxes on that version. So you have to upgrade again to do the state tax. So that was like another 35 or 40 bucks. Um, and then if you want, like, so I was still at this point, I was like, okay, well, that's fine because it'll just come out of the refund. Well, no, if you want the money to come out of your refund, then it's another $35 friggin' charge. So I was like, I'm not paying $35 just so you can deduct that money from my refund. So bottom line is I paid for it out of my bank account. I had to transfer some from my savings and that was $82.68. So TurboTax. Um, okay, so that was that. And then Wednesday I had a no spend. Thursday, I bought some something on Etsy uh, from Kim at Star Budgets. She has these awesome mini savings challenge books that are all scratchers. And I've been wanting it since I saw her video releasing them, which was sometime at the, like near the end of last year. And I finally pulled the trigger. Um, so that was what I bought on Etsy. And then I won a gift card to a fabric store. Um, one of the sewing uh, pattern companies I follow was doing a giveaway. I entered and I won a $35 gift card for Sew Dynamic Fabrics. Um, I've never used them before, but um, you know, whatever. So I won a $35 gift card. So I went on and placed an order and it was $52.21. And this is after the gift card. That tells you how expensive fabric is. This is custom fabric. It's also... Um, I think it's recycled fabric, so, you know, way better for the environment, etc. And this is only for three yards of fabric. So three yards of fabric was $75, okay? So, yeah, very expensive. Um, but, so, yeah, I spent $52.21, and that wasn't, of course, including the shipping. Um, and that came out of sewing, and that basically depleted my sewing sinking fund. So I'm going to have to start stuffing a little bit of money in there now. So $76.99 for Thursday. Friday. Here's a funny one. I ordered from motherhood and maternity. No, I'm not pregnant. I will not be pregnant again because <laughs> I have my tubes tied. But they have these pajama pants that I'm obsessed with. They're my favorite ever pajama pants. And I have three pairs currently, but they're starting to get raggedy. My son is almost five, and I bought them when I was pregnant with my son. So they're they're pretty old already. Um, but I just love them. They fit so great. They're so comfortable. And I there are a lot of pants I can't wear because of my diastasis recti. It's an abdominal separation. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of pants I can't wear. I cannot wear anything with an elastic waist, anything that has like compression or anything like that. So anyway, these are so comfortable. They're just pajama pants and I got two pair, but what I plan to do, they're just solid. They're gray and black. What I plan to do is because they have a little flare at the bottom, a little boot cut is just slim the leg down and sort of make them into leggings so that I can wear them out as regular leggings. So that was $44.94 for the two pairs of pants. Then I saw, I think I got an email from another fabric shop. It's called Ashen Elm. And I saw something I loved. So of course I placed an order there, even though I have no more money in my sewing fund. Um, I ordered something for $43.96. 
couple of yards of fabric there. Um, that morning, I believe I went to Dunkin'. That was freaking expensive. $10.40. I got a coffee for my husband, a latte for myself, and a wake, wake up wrap. Um, I know the reason is because the lattes are pretty pricey. I'm not sure how much it was. I didn't look, but yeah, so $10.40 for three things at Dunkin'. And then what a surprise, more McDonald's for $3.81. So $103.11 on Friday. And then Saturday, um, okay, so Saturday we went to Target, the family. Um, I had originally wanted to go for just diapers, which I could have taken out of my kids fund, but of course we got some groceries and some other things. So it ended up being $122.87. So boo to that, but it is what it is. And then also I went to CVS this day. I wanted to get some probiotics. Um, I want to start trying those. Um, I don't know, just because I don't have like any issues really or anything, but, um, a healthy gut is a good gut, right? <laughs> so that was $20.32 for a total of $143.19 on Saturday. So the total that I spent this week was $645.40. So that was a big one, but what are you going to do? All right, that's that. So now let's switch over to did I work out? And I think you're going to be surprised. The cardio is not surprising. Okay, I did cardio every single day, and I also did cardio on Saturday, so boom. Friday, I got out of work early. I was not going to work out. Okay, I got out of work at 2. If you followed me before, you've heard me say that um, I only work out typically at work, on my like on my break from work, because the nights, I just honestly, like... The main reason is I just want to be lazy and kind of lounge around at night, plus, you know, do dinner and clean up and blah, blah, blah. So um, I wasn't going to work out. And I had a headache as well. And I do VR fitness. Again, if you've been here before, you know this. Um, it's, uh, you know, a VR virtual reality headset. The game is called Supernatural. And it's pretty, like, high impact, high intensity. So if I have a headache, I don't like to do that because it just makes my headache worse. So um, I wasn't going to work out, but then I got out of work. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to walk on the treadmill just for 30 minutes at least to do something. Well, that 30 minutes turned into an hour and eight minutes. What? I mean, granted, you don't burn a lot just by walking a lot of calories, but still I was up and moving. So I was so pumped. I watched some YouTube videos and yeah, it was awesome. Um, and then Saturday I felt like doing another workout. Um, so I typically never work out on the weekends. Um, so I was proud of myself for that, but look, 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 look at this. Boom. I did my core all five days, baby. All five days. I was so proud of myself. It felt so good to kind of get back into that groove. Um, and yeah, it just, um, I love it. I love it. So I am going to give myself a high five. Woo -woo! So I'm very proud of my progress last week for working out. All right, last but not least, let's talk about the Amazon no spend. You already know I broke it. Um, and let me actually check on the date of that as well. That was Tuesday the 24th. So let's go ahead and cross that out. Okay, Tuesday the 24th, but, but I didn't spend on the 23rd. Today is January 30th, so boom, 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 boom. Well, okay, I guess I shouldn't have crossed off today yet, but I'm not going to buy anything today. So amazing, amazing, amazing progress. Take that, Amazon. Love it, love it, love it. I am so proud of myself. Like, this is just insane. Insane. 
Um, this month, though, I am going back to buying myself a gift card. I did decide to reduce it, though, because I don't want to be like a slave to Amazon. Um, as easy it is, as it is to go on there if I need something and just buy it. I just spend way too much money on there. So, yeah, I reduced the amount and hopefully between kind of like abstaining from there from the no spend and having not as much money on there, hopefully I won't spend as much. I feel like, and I didn't realize this before, but thinking about it when I was doing my budget for February, um, I think the reason that I was spending so much on Amazon is because I was giving myself that gift card and I just knew I had the money. Now, granted, I, I always spent a lot on there even before I started budgeting, but I think it's just because, like I said, I knew I had the gift card, so why not spend it? So yes, I'm still doing gift card, but I'm doing less. Um, I hope to try to keep the no spend a little bit. Um, we'll see. I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably print this tracker out again. Um, by the way, it is in my Etsy shop, shop if you're interested, and I'll print out the blank one. There is a blank one with no dates, and I, I'll do it for February, and I will still keep track of how many days I don't spend on Amazon. Um, just knowing that, you know, I'm going to spend a little bit because, like I said, I'm going to buy myself the gift cards, but I'm going to do $25 a paycheck instead of 50 and yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So, lots of great progress for myself. Um, yeah, super proud of the working out, the no spending, all of that. Uh, I think that's all I got for you. Um, I am trying to get to 500 subscribers by tomorrow, I guess. It's probably not going to happen, but we still have a day, people. Actually, you will not see this until tomorrow, so today hit that subscribe button if you have not already um I'm getting there I'm getting up there I'm at like 430 some right now so it is almost time to start buying things for my 500 subscriber giveaway I do have all the shops written down that you all said that you loved and yeah um leave me a comment down below like the video until next time see you later